Two new museum exhibits focus on Native Americans in the area and a man who changed the world of archaeology. Good evening. Thanks for watching tonight. I'm Todd Blackington. Today, the Idaho Museum of Natural History hosted a sneak peek at two new exhibits that will grace the museum floors. Our Logan McDougall has more. Changes are underway here at the Idaho Museum of Natural History as two new exhibits are making their way to the Idaho State University campus. The first is exploring the Camas Prairie, which looks at the scenic and historical importance of the region west of Sun Valley. It was important for all the Native Americans in Idaho as the place where they collected Camas bulbs, an important root crop that was absolutely critical for people's lives, and especially the Shoshone and the Bannock of, of the Fort Hall area. They spent their summers there. And the area's uses went beyond agriculture. It was kind of a a trade zone. Many different groups there congregated in the summer and they would trade raw materials and arrange marriages and, and other kinds of activities. The second is a Don Crabtree retrospective which looks back at the life and work of an influential Idahoan. He took it upon himself in the early 1960s to teach himself how to make stone tools. And in less than a decade, he became the premier world's authority on the manufacture of stone tools. Dr. Mashner says archaeology would not be the same without Crabtree's contributions. Almost everything we know about the manufacture of stone tools, the kinds of stones that are used, the kinds of tools that were used to break the stones, the sequence of events that went into making stone tools, Don Crabtree created. And his many publications as an affiliate faculty here at ISU and worldwide are still used by archaeologists and students around the world. Logan McDougall, KPVI News 6. These new exhibits open to the public tomorrow at 1230. Admission is free of charge.